So mostly sci-fi September is over. So it's time for Overly Ambitious October. Here's my TBR. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another TBR video. This one for my overly ambitious October 2022 TBR. So what does that mean? Well, that means I have some chunkers to show you today. Additionally, October is a very busy month for me, so because of that, I won't have quite as much time to read. So this is an ambitious list of books. I normally give you 10. I'm only going to give you eight today because I'm not even confident I can finish that this month because it is a pretty full month for my work and for these big chunkers I'm going to show you today. But first, let's check back in my mostly sci-fi September, see how I did. Of the 10 books that I said I would read in September, I read nine. So if you want to see short reviews of those nine books, plus one audiobook I finished in the month of September, I'll post that video in the next week. Okay, so I have eight books, and four of them are total chunkers. So the order I'm going to read them, I'm going to go chunker, non-chunker, chunker, non-chunker. Non so I'll talk about them in the order that I plan on reading them, and hopefully I can get through all eight so I can review them for you at the end of the month. First chunker is Xenocide by Orson Scott Card. This is the latest book in my Ender read. You can tell I'm a little bit into it so far. And this is the longest book in the Ender universe. This is almost 600 pages, even though it is a mass market paperback, so it might read a little faster than maybe a hardcover of that size. But Xenocide is the next one in the Ender universe. First non-chunker on the list is a work of non-fiction, and this is called Evening in the Palace of Reason, Bach meets Frederick the Great in the Age of Enlightenment. I had not been reading enough nonfiction this year, and hopefully this will remedy it because this is a book that has been on my TBR for, without exaggeration, nine or ten years. I've always been intrigued by Frederick the Great. He was a figure that united Germany, so he's this great political and military mind, but he was also an amateur composer, and he also was a big patron of the arts. And of course, as a musician, I love Johann Sebastian Bach. So the fact that these two titans met for one day, I'm just really intrigued about what those two gentlemen talked about. So I'm very much looking forward to Evening in the Palace of Reason, Bach meets Frederick the Great, and the Age of Enlightenment. All right, the next one is one that originally wasn't going to be a part of the plan this year. And that is Ilium by Dan Simmons. And the reason this wasn't part of the plan is because I already have a whole bunch of books in there, and you can see I have a couple more chunkers this month. But there's going to be a, a read-along on the Grimoire Discord that Alex from Tall Guy Reads and Jonathan from Words in Time, they're kind of leading that. And I just wanted to jump in to be able to talk about it. Ilium is the Iliad set in space. And it's just the perfect kind of mashup that Dan Simmons can do so well. He's such a great author at bending genres. I talked about one of his books in my Hidden Gems video a couple weeks ago, and I'm just excited to be able to be reading him again. So we're going to be reading Ilium in October and Olympus, which is based on the Odyssey, in November. So if you'd like to join us in the discussion about these books, I'll put a link to the Grimoire Discord in my description below where we'll have, be having a lot of discussions about this book. So that was the second chunker. The second non-chunker is The Bands of Mourning by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in Mistborn Era 2. I am rereading these because The Lost Metal, the fourth and final book of that series, is coming out in November, and I'm just refreshing my memory. If you want to see my review for Shadows of Self, that'll be on that September book roundup video that I post in about a week. But I will say that I did enjoy it quite a bit more than The Alloy of Law. So I'm hoping that that continues, that trend continues with The Bands of Mourning. All right, on to chunker number three, perhaps my most anticipated, excited read for the month, and that is Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb. The first book in the Fits and the Fool trilogy, which is the last series of the five series that interconnect to form the realm of the Elderlings. I am so excited to finish this journey with Fitz, Fitz Chivalry Farseer. I'm excited and a little bittersweet to finish this journey. 
But this has been just such an experience reading these books. I started these last year, and I found my favorite fantasy author and one of my favorite authors ever. I found my favorite literary character ever, my favorite animal companion ever. You just add the evers, and Robin Hobb has a lot of them in these books. So I'm very, very much looking forward to picking up Fool's Assassin later this month. After Fool's Assassin, the non-chunker will be something on my Kindle, and that is Unsold by Will White. So Will White's a self-published author that is highly successful, and he gave away for free the first nine books of his Cradle series on ebook a while back. So I scooped them up. Now, I don't know if the Cradle series will be for me or not, but I feel obligated to at least try a few of them. I've heard a few things that cause me to think I may like these books. Uh, for instance, I hear that he compares very favorably to Brandon Sanderson. But I've heard some other things that make me believe I might not like his books. For instance, I don't know if I'm a big fan of even the concept of a progression fantasy. To me, it feels a bit more like video games than literature, so I don't know if I'll like it. I'll go in open-minded, but I plan on reading at least two of them by the end of the year. They're pretty quick reads. I think the first one, Unsold, is less than 300 pages. So a perfect chaser after the big Robin Hobb Fool's Assassin book. So I am looking forward to reading Will White, and I'll let you know what I think at the end of the month. After that, my final chunker plan this month is Fool's Quest by Robin Hobb. The plan is to read the first two of these this month and then read the final one in November and wrap up The Realm of the Elderlings then. So of course I'm super excited for that. And my final non-chunker is the only book that I didn't get to last month. And that is The City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke. I read Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke last month. So I'm looking forward to reading this one as I explore him as an author. This will be my third book of his that I've read. So I'm intrigued as to see what I think of this one. But wait, there's more. Let me give you one bonus selection. I don't listen to a lot of audiobooks, but I recently started one that is very short. It's six hours. And it's a Star Wars audiobook called Dooku Jedi Lost by Kevin Scott. And it's actually not a book, it's an audio play. It's an audio drama that is written specific for the medium. It has soundtrack, special effects, a cast of dozens, and I'm enjoying it. So because of that, I'm kind of listening to it a lot faster than I normally would listen to an audiobook. For me, an audiobook that's 10 or 12 hours takes me about two months because <laughs> I just don't consume audiobooks that often. But this one, I find myself listening to a bit faster than others, and since it's only six hours. So I might get nine next month. I'm going to put it on the little graphic just in case. Um, we'll see how I do in this overly ambitious October. So hey, if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to talk with you in a spoiler-free manner, of course, about any of these books. I'd love to hear your thoughts on them, or maybe your thoughts on progression fantasy, since I talked about that with Unsold. And I would, of course, love to hear what you're reading in October. What are you most anticipating reading in October? If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to see a book featured on one of these TBR videos, my Amazon wish list is below. Also, find me on Twitter and Goodreads. I would love to interact with you on those platforms. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.